So former President Trump's endorsements for 2024 are piling up, including Florida. Very interesting story. We have Florida Congressman Michael Waltz, and he is one of those endorsements. He joins me now. Uh, Michael, thank you. Welcome back to the show. It's good to see you. I, I just look at I, you're, yeah, a he, you're a heavyweight. You're an influencer. OK, you, let's see. You're on armed services, foreign affairs. You're on the Intelligence Committee. You're a former Green Beret. God bless you for your service to this country. Um, tell me your thinking. Thanks. You you went for Trump, not DeSantis. Actually, you have DeSantis' yeah. old congressional seat, if I'm not mistaken. Tell me why, Mike. Well, look, I think Governor DeSantis has been uh, an amazing uh, governor. I don't have a, a negative thing to say there. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, President Trump's leadership was truly transformational. Uh, it was bold. Uh, it's experienced. It's a proven, qual uh, proven quantity. And Larry, you know this, uh, everything from once in a generation uh, tax reform to renegotiating NAFTA, which no one said he could do and get done, and he did, mm -hmm. uh, to the Abraham Accords, the shift on China. I mean, the list is, uh, you know, the vet veterans, uh, uh, veterans choice, uh, rebuilding our military. Uh, the list is long and distinguished. We've got to get back to it. Uh, and I think we need that bold and experienced leadership, particularly on the international stage right now. And for me, at the end of the day, I want our enemies to respect our commander in chief, to fear our commander in chief, and I guarantee you they fear Donald Trump. So, you know, um, a month or two back, our friend Lindsey Graham, who also has endorsed Trump, said something to the effect that you can't have Trump policies without Trump. And as I listen to you articulate a lot of the former president's successes, and I, I totally agree, look, I was in there. Uh, for three years at the NEC. Yeah. Um, what you're saying is essentially we need we need to have Trump for the Trump policies. And you're also emphasizing foreign affairs. And we, we've given up. Biden's given up the ship on foreign affairs. His his stuff from Afghanistan to Ukraine is just terrible. But anyway, is that your idea? You've got to have Trump to enact Trumpian policies. Yeah, look, I mean, we're talking about the federal government here. I think the number one job of Washington, D.C. is to keep the country safe, uh, is to defend our borders and maintain American leadership uh, around the world. And I don't think you, you get the transformation, uh, which is truly what we need. We need revolutionary change in many ways. For example, uh, I'm convinced uh, that to this day we would not have the Space Force, a new branch of the military that's absolutely critical to our national security, if you didn't have uh, President Trump in there firing people, putting the bureaucracy on notice, uh, and truly breaking China to get what we need done. And right now, when it comes to the race against China, we're running out of time, Larry. Mm. Uh, we are absolutely running out of runway, and we need that transformational and sometimes completely disruptive leadership and change uh, in the White House. And that's, I think you only get that with Trump. Lindsey said it right. Lindsey Graham said it right. You don't get the policies, which so many people want, without the person that can blow up the bureaucracy in Washington, D.C., to actually get it done. Mike Waltz, just what do you say to people who argue Governor DeSantis will give you Trumpian policies, quote unquote, but he can win? and Trump cannot win. What's your response to that? Well, I look at the data, uh, and I was just looking at a Harris poll, and it shows, uh, you know, it shows both of them within the margin of error. It's going to be tight mm. uh, against uh, President Biden, but I have to look at the end of the day. Uh, at the end of the day, we need that transformational and experienced leadership. Uh, it, look, I, I'm, that's not to say that, that uh, Governor DeSantis wouldn't do great in 2028. Heck, I'll take 12 years of both of them. Mm. Uh, but at the end of the day, when, I, you know, when one of them asked me for their endorsement, and President Trump did, to go back to what he got done uh, in, the, in the four years, despite everything thrown at him, I want another four years of that. 
No, I think he's a fighter. It's not an easy choice, Larry. I mean, it's not easy, right? But uh, but I'll take more of Governor DeSantis and more of President Trump at the same time. Yeah, look, I'm just trying to be even-handed here, okay? That's all. I'm giving you the sure. DeSantis argument. But you are a heavyweight. You are an influencer in Congress, and I think it's very important that you wound up endorsing the former president. Uh, anyway, Michael Waltz, we appreciate your time very much. Good to see you. <laughs>